Hey guys, we're gonna make a batch of my strobe 8200 at 10%, minus 325 magnolia at 15%, and we're gonna go from scratch. How we go from scratch, starting making the strobe base, okay? That's the strobe base, I'm running low, so I'm gonna make a new batch. We got the three components right here to do the strobe base. We go for a 240 gram of strobe base, which is 180 gram of uh, the ammonium perchlorate, uh, 15 grams of dichromate, and 45 grams of barium sulfate. So I already weighted the uh, 180 grams of the uh, AP with the 15 grams of the potassium dichromate, okay? Those two without the barium sulfate. Barium sulfate is like baby powder, okay? You don't have to do this. On these two, we're gonna put them in a blender for a few minutes. It was there about, probably for three minutes already. Okay, that was a four minute of uh, blade milling, okay? <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is kind of messed up now. I got my respirator on and now we're dealing with the orange, a orange agent. So we have to use a respirator. I suggest you guys do the same. You don't want to breathe this thing. We're going to let it sink down a little bit. Okay, there is a lot of uh, powder floating inside there. We're going to let it sit for a minute or two and then we uh, go for the rest of the formula. Take a look at that. It's already a fine powder. There it is. Now we're gonna add the 45 grams of the barium sulfate, which is already baby powder. We don't have to blend this thing. We go for 45 grams and I'll be right back. There we go, 45 grams. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run this three into a kitchen calendar at least three or four times to make it a perfect mix. There we go. Okay, a couple more times and that's it. Okay, done. It took about seven to eight minutes to go through the whole process to make a nice batch of 240 grams of the base straw mix. Now we go for the straw fuel. Okay, so we go for a 200 gram batch of my uh, um, straw fuel. So we got a base of, we, got an, uh, we need 160 grams of the base right there 160 now we go for 20 grams of the magnesium 80 minus 200 exactly 20 grams magnesium 80 minus 200 now we go for the uh, minus 325 there we go <clears throat> 30 grams of the magnesium minus 325 so now we go for uh, 8 grams of my homemade green dot nc lacquer which is nothing but two teaspoons of green dot powder and 100 millimeters of acetone. That's what it is, okay? That is nothing else, there's no secrets here. Let me do that. All right, so we go for eight grams of this thing. Almost. If you go over a little bit, it doesn't really matter. That will be a big difference. Okay, 8.1, 8.2, that's perfect. Now we're gonna add, you see that's the NC lacquer in there, we're gonna add some acetone, regular acetone that you can buy at Home Depot. Just enough acetone to get uh, the mix totally wet with it, okay? Okay, this is what I did, I left the scale on. So you know we had um, eight grams of the NC lacquer and I added 52 grams of acetone, okay? That's the amount right there. So for you to have an idea how much you need to add to this mix. Okay, it's added. I'm gonna mix it well and I show you the results. Okay, there it is. Okay, look guys, this is exactly what you're looking for. Let me show you. That's what you want. Okay. Now the acetone is gonna dry probably in about 30 to 40 minutes. It's gonna dry enough to make a dough, a solid dough, so you can granulate this thing. Okay, so we got about an hour, 
already and this is pretty solid already so i'm gonna pull it out of there and i'm just gonna granulate it to, through a kitchen calendar okay and we're gonna let it dry we're gonna press a rocket and then we're gonna shoot it there we go fuel is already granulated and has been dried uh, on the heat lamp for about five hours she's absolutely ready to go right now so what we're gonna do i'm gonna bag this i'm gonna put it away and then we're gonna make a burn test there we go let's make a quick burn test to make sure that the fuel came out good all right let's see it looks good to me let's see what happens when we press it on the motor okay so this is the plan we're gonna press this rocket on hp 144c okay and we're gonna use a bp spindle because the hp 144c is meant for long spindles but it pushes a lot of power now the second motor this is gonna be a two-stage motor two-stage rocket the second one is gonna be on a four inch spindle right there we're gonna press inch and a half of khp and the rest of the spindle is going to be the stroke that we just made we're going to press the rocket and see if we can shoot in the farm <laughs> Holy. Whoa. Wow. Wow.